Hi everyone, so we all know how the uh, Laravel looks like when we install it out of the box with a bootstrap 4 uh, preset. It looks like this with a bootstrap 4 preset. But what if we would like to use Bulma front end uh, preset instead of uh, instead of bootstrap 4 out of the box during the installation? So we're gonna use this uh, Bulma front end instead of bootstrap with the new Laravel application. So yeah, let's jump in it. Okay, so let's install a new Laravel application on our computer. I just created a new folder, YouTube. Uh, click inside and start git bash. Um, pull it over on the screen. Make the font bigger. Okay, so Laravel new, call it test app. It's gonna take one, two minutes or maybe three. Okay, so if you see that application is ready, we got something amazing, then we are ready to the next step, which is at the moment we are in this um, YouTube folder, but we have to go inside the test step. This is our new Laravel application and we have to enter inside this uh, folder. So cd test app. As you can see, we inside this folder now. And we can tell to Laravel to change the bootstrap for to Bulma CSS framework. So composer, composer. Require, require Laravel presets slash Bulma. Yep, should be fine. Okay, the next step is make the basic authentication um, scaffolding for Laravel. PHP artisan preset Bulma, oh. Bulma out. Yeah, so this command will make uh, a menu with uh, login and register buttons and with the functionalities as well. That's it, it was quick and easy. Now we do npm install. Yeah, it's gonna be take about three minutes as well. Okay, so as, it, as it's done, uh, we should be able to serve a, a server now for this new application, so just run PHP artisan serve. It boots up a new server on this port. Copy. Let's uh, see it. Oops. <laughs> okay, so. As we can see, the Bulma and the Bulma extension is installed, but the CSS uh, hasn't been take place and uh, it looks weird. Registration, it looks weird. So something definitely wrong here. The next step should be to run uh, npm run watch to comply the, all the SCSS into a CSS. So I open up a new command line and run, oops, npm run 
watch. And the first problem uh, gonna be take place here. That's where I got the first uh, problem during this uh, whole process. As you can see, the npm run watch is failed because because of this uh, semi semicolon, which is inside the Bulma extensions calendar as CSS line 210. So we need to delete this uh, semicolon from that file to get this up and running. If you, if you refresh it, as you can see, everything is the same. We, we can't see the Bulma uh, CSS. So I just open up this um, new application in my uh, code editor. Let's close these. YouTube test app add. Right, so we have to go to node modules. Let's find Bulma extensions. Let's find Bulma calendar. Dist inside this dist folder CSS and Bulma calendar as CSS uh, line 210 and just delete this uh, semicolon here. Save it. Come back. Uh, let's press Ctrl C. <coughs> and run npm run watch again and this time it should work and our css should uh, take place yeah as we can see it's up and running it works now and if you refresh the page you can see our uh, css is um, has been has been complied register right uh, at the moment these functionalities doesn't work because the Laravel application hasn't been connected to the database let's do this one as well because there is another error during this uh, process as well so first of all let's create the actual database for this application I got my PHP, uh, my PHP admin on localhost. Create a new table. Let's call it test step. I'm gonna use UTF-8 MB for Unicode. Okay, so test app uh, database has been created, as you can see. So now what we have to do, we just let's close this uh, node modules folder and go to .env file and let's set the database host to localhost and the database that what we created is test app. The unit username is root in my case. And I have no password for this. Let's save it. And the first problem I'm gonna be if we try to do uh, migration. Uh, let's open a new Git bash here. What is migration? So, okay, so if we would like to do the migration for this uh, Laravel application, PHP RT sim migrate, 
it's gonna fail because we got this uh, error so the easiest to just uh, copy and search this one and the second link give you the best answer we just need to place this code inside app service provider so let's copy this one go to editor go to app provider app providers app service providers place this line of code up here and this line of code goes here let's save it if you check our database we can see two two of these has been already created so if you try to do migrate again we can see the base table or view already exist called username so we need to do a new a fresh uh, migration so all we have to do is just say fresh here as you can see it it has a uh, dropped the tables and create a new ones if we check it as you can see we have three entries now but uh, one more problem comes up if we try to register a new user as you can see and this problem is access denied for user homestead this problem is because in the .env file, when we said our username is root, we saved it, but we have to reboot the server to actually load this .env file to the Laravel application. So let's reboot the server, which is running here. To stop it, Control C, press Control C, it stops the application and PHP artisan serve. So our server is rebooted now and if we go back, refresh our page and try to create a new user again. Here we go, our application up and running, test user is in, log out, let's see our database and as you can see our new user is saved in the database so the login and register functionality is working as we expected okay in the next video i'm gonna show some of uh, our some of these uh, bulma extensions how they work uh, if you like this video just press the like button and if you like subscribe i come up with new videos soon